everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you a really cute, fast, easy, fun cowl neck scarf that you can crochet. It's really easy. Once you kind of know what loop to go through, it just becomes muscle memory and you can do one right after the next. And by the time you are done with your Netflix series, you have yourself a really stinking cute cowl neck scarf. So let's get started. For this tutorial, I'm actually going to use a six and a half or a K hook because I want my loops and stitches to be a little bit looser and bigger. All right, so to get started, you want to create a slip knot, and this can be done in many different ways. I, of course, have a tutorial on how to crochet. If you want to brush up on anything, you can go ahead and check that out. And I'm going to chain 53. All right, so we have chained our 53 foundation chains. And for this tutorial, we're gonna be using half double crochets. So you can apply this technique to any form of stitch, whether it's single crochet, double crochet, triple crochet, it doesn't matter. You can apply it to any kind. I personally prefer the half double crochet because I think it is a perfect medium between a single crochet and a double crochet. We're gonna put our first stitch into the third stitch from the hook. One, two, three. We're gonna half double crochet into that stitch. Just so that we can match the height of this next row and half double crochet all the way down. Just as a reminder, a half double crochet is yarn over, insert your hook through the stitch, yarn over, pull through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three hooks. All right, so now we have completely half double crocheted in every single stitch along the foundation chain and you should have 51 stitches total. Now comes the fun part where we get to create that ribbed effect. We are going to chain one and we're gonna do this at the end of each row before we turn. So when we are forming our loops, we usually insert our hook into these top two stitches right here. But we're not gonna do that this time because those are gonna be what create our ribbed effect. All of these double-legged stitches up at the top are what are gonna create the ribbed effect. So in order to do that, and keep in mind we're still doing half double crochet for this entire project, we're gonna half double crochet not into these top two loops, but instead into this bottom loop right here. It's just below those two loops. So we are going to half double crochet into each of those loops. We're not gonna insert it into these two loops. Instead, we're gonna go right below it and insert into this loop right here. Yarn over, pull through, and do our half double crochet. And we're gonna keep doing that all along this row. And as we do this, you can begin to notice that those top loops they're actually going to start creating that ribbed effect. Notice how the top loops are now facing the front and they are what will start creating that ribbed effect. All right, so now we have made it to the end of our third row. I am going to half double crochet into the second to last stitch. It can be kind of difficult to see where it is but if you just keep in mind that it's just below these top two stitches, it can help a little bit. So make sure that you're only going into that bottom stitch underneath the top two loops. Make your half double crochet. Now, normally I made the mistake when I first started this type of stitching. I made the mistake of just chaining one and then turning my work. But in fact, there is still one more stitch that we need to make and it's into the very last stitch. 
It's the chain one that we made before we turned our work. So we are going to just half double crochet into this chain space right here. Don't worry about chaining into the bottom loop or anything like that. We just want to make our half double crochet into that chain space. And now we can chain one and turn our work. So now that we have turned our work, you can begin to see this ripped effect. We have now turned our work, so now these loops on the top are what will create the next ribbing effect as we work along this next row. And as I'm sure you'll start to notice, there will be a rib on this side, and then there will be a rib on this side, which will be the one that we're about to create right now. And you can continue doing this um, for as long as you want. You can make this into just one long scarf. I am actually going to go until it can wrap completely around my neck and it's going to be folded in half to later make a really cozy cowl scarf. So once you've made as many rows as you'd like, you want to go ahead and fold your knitted cowl in half and hold it around your neck to see if it lays how you would like it to lay on your neck. Mine measured out to be about 27 inches and it could probably stretch a little bit more also if I wanted it to, but I thought that was a really good length for my neck and it sit pretty well on my shoulders. So now what I'm gonna show you is how we connect this all together and it's basically just a whole bunch of slip knots. So bringing one edge to the other, I'm going to insert my hook into one loop insert it into the same loop on the other side, yarn over and pull that through both loops. So let me show you that again. We're going to insert our hook into the second stitch on one side as well as the second stitch on the other side, yarn over and pull that through both of those loops and also pull it through the loop that's already on the hook. Go ahead and keep doing this all the way down the very edge of your scarf until you've reached the end. All right, so this is where I slip stitched right along here. And what I am going to do is turn it right side out. And so now you have yourself a really cute cow neck scarf. And I recommend folding it down like so when you're wearing it to create a really adorable layered effect. And there you go. That wasn't so bad, was it? And now you got yourself a really stinking cute cow neck scarf to keep your naked neck warm this winter. Hmm. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, YouTube, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I saw stars on the pavement, California dreams. Looked up through the bright light